and all who hold service to God and country as sacred. Today marks the 95th birthday of the Societe de Carat de Homes et Huit Chevaux, commonly known as the 40 and 8 or La Societe. In March of 1920, Joseph Breen, a member of the newly formed American Legion and an officer of Breen McCracken Legion Post 297, met in Philadelphia with 15 other prominent legionnaires where they originated the idea of the 40 and 8. They envisioned a new and different level of elite membership and camaraderie for the leaders of the American Legion. The boxcar of the French railways, so familiar to American ground troops of the First World War, was chosen as the symbolic heart of the new organization. The French railroad theme was applied to officer titles and organizational functions. During the last 95 years, La Societe has endeavored to seek out and satisfy the needs of our nation's veterans, local communities, and the nation's children. For example, in 1932, the 40 and 8 declared war on childhood diphtheria. Vaccination toxin was distributed via Voiture Nationale to children whose parents could not afford it. Physicians donated their services and educational campaigns were carried out to combat the disease. From 1932 through 1936, the 40 and 8 sought to influence Congress regarding veterans' benefits. These were the bonus March Depression years when World War I veterans and the federal government were at times in open conflict. The 40 and 8 sponsored national radio programs featuring well-known political figures to bring equitable treatment of war veterans to the national forefront. Realizing that power came with numbers, the 40 and 8 brought in 111,159 new American Legion members. The efforts of the 40 and 8 ultimately helped convince Congress to pass over a presidential veto the Compensation Act for America's war veterans. These endeavors only scratch the surface of the many accomplishments of the 40 and 8. In your uh, booklets that all of you have been given when you were, were wrecked, if you read through there, you'll see some of that history. And as you read it, you will understand the pride each Voyager military takes in having been invited into the ranks of a Societe de Courant et Homes et Huit Chevaux. Therefore, let us celebrate these accomplishments and the birthday of the Societe de Courant de Homes et Huit Chevaux in the true spirit of the fun and honor society of American victims. Amine, we please bless this assembly in prayer. Please rise and uncover. <coughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, bless this assembly in its purpose in celebration of a society's birthday. Provide your peace upon those who founded this our society and have passed on to serve you in heaven. Help us carry on their great works and honor our oath to you our fellow Voyagers military, comrades, and citizens of our beloved United States of America. Amen. 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 Conductor, uh, bring the Voyagers to the salute. Cover. The flag is in position. Right hand salute. Right vous Right hand salute. You will join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, as it is our intention to celebrate the birthday of our beloved Societe, let us proceed. Chef 
the cuisine bring forth the birthday cake. escort the oldest Voyager Militaire and the youngest Voyager Militaire to the Chef de Cuisine's side. Harry Brax, Michael Clark. Voyagers are in place. Monsieur Conductor, you may retire to your station. Monsieur Chef de Cuisine, proceed with the cutting of the birthday cake. I always wanted one of these. This is great. <laughs> This is a Navy Sabre, so if it doesn't work, you all understand. <laughs> is that the Navy Navy? Navy? I asked BT earlier, what's a Navy got to do with Sabres? She said, haven't you ever watched a pirate movie? Oh, point well taken. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did this shit all the time. That's like a tool. You were an officer. That's why you one. Did everybody get a look at this before we get this going straight? <laughs> some people like little ones, some people like slanted ones. What are you, I see prejudiced? No, Asiatics are all right in my book sometimes. <laughs> Powder familius. Bonafide cake splitter. <laughs> you ever done this with uh, dental floss? You better get RN, R U N N O F T. What the piece of dead stuck in the metal? Damn fine job. Almost somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a Navy sword, you know, it's not sure. Let's check this out. Hold still, hold still, hold still. No! Okay, you hold on to this. I got it. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Swing it around, Mark. All the guys in the weapons guy. Yeah. You like the corner piece? You know, as kids, we'd kill for corner piece, all that drop stain, but we're a little older now. Get a close up of that. Yeah, cool. All right, you get a corner piece. It all depends on the diabetes out here. Harry, you got a choice? I'll throw it to the corner. Pardon me? I'll throw it to the corner. Oh, I hate Harry. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Oh, that's not 
Sir Sheftigar, the oldest and youngest in our midst, Voyager's military have been served. How old that sword is? Uh, we should note that uh, Brown. in honor of Chef de Chemin de Fro, Joseph Green, and the 15 other veterans of World War I who founded the 48th as an honor society for certain Legion members, uh, is who and why we're honoring this on the 95th birthday. And I want to especially thank um, our correspondent, Bob Shooping, at this time for making that happen with the cake and for taking part in this. And uh, that's not in the script, but I want to make sure it happened. Anyway, if you will, we can retire the cake to the service area and eat in honor of Lasciate. I'm sure Chef de Cuisine, please retire the cake. <laughs> and if you will offer the prayer, I'm in. I'm covered. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing and all humility upon our comrades who have gone before. And upon the society, through him who said, Greater love than this has no man, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Amen. 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 Sure. Mature conductor, you will call the voyagers to attention and cause a hand salute to be presented to the flag of our country. Carter Boo, present arms. Two. Carter Boo, and Thank you all for your participation. And now, les les bons temps roulés. So that means eat and have fun. Okay. We're done. We're done with the. Uh, Come and get it. Come and get it. Okay.